was the best one in that round. That was a gas shot. Did you do something different then? No. Yes. Think about it. You had to do something better. You had to do something differently to help you to see the ball better. Because the, my theory is this. The better you see the ball, the more body you put into it, you're not as fine. Again. Did you sort of experience where I see the beginning and I go right to the end? I hardly watch the middle. I did that a few times there. Okay, let's just go back to that right now. I saw what you did. Do it again. What did you do different? Change my stance. What did you change? That I was more taller. I was like right here instead of right here. Point at me. Say boom. Okay, we just wrapped up a, a wonderful hitting session with Elijah. And what we worked on with Elijah was getting his hitting model down. And then we worked on the best hitting tempo for him. And there's two different tempos. So there's like 24 variations between models and, and tempos. And a lot more other variations besides that. But what we really put our focus on was flight path to the ball, okay? And we talked about different patterns and real techniques, how the batter needs to get his eyes into position a hundredth of a second to see the ball before the ball is in that spot. A lot of people say, well, what's the big deal, Dave? Hey, we just see the ball come out to the pitcher's window. No. If, you're if you see the ball in the pitcher's hand, which you can barely, um, you end up getting your eyes stuck on where the ball came off the fingers. It's like taking a photo. Your brain stops there. But you know what doesn't stop? Is the ball keeps ball. The ball keeps moving. So we work on a technique of how to see the ball into the flight path, right? It's a moving object. Elijah and I, we wrapped up our, our session with working from the stretch position. I threw from the stretch position, okay? And there were some challenges there. He wasn't picking up the ball in the flight path, even all, through all the explanations, right? What finally got him to see the ball early in the flight path is something very special and very sensitive to teach. It's called adrenaline. How you time your adrenaline. Adrenaline gives you an, a shot of alertness. Everyone knows about steroids, how steroids makes you stronger, steroids helps you to recover. Most people don't even, or hardly even mention how steroids creates alertness to the body and the brain. Well, we don't need steroids because when you know how to in activate and ignite your adrenaline at the right precise time, as part of hitting timing, guess what you got? You got hitter's alertness and it helps you to pick up the ball early in the flight path and then boom, he got it. One more note, to help improve the hitting consistency, the hitting timing, I showed Elijah how to use the pitcher's common denominator.